All right, it is time to do a little digging in this morning, and here to help us do that, we want to welcome our daytime gardener, Jean Cope. Always fun to have Jean back on the show. You never know what she's going to have for us. It's always a little bit of a surprise, and this morning, you've got a cause that's very near and dear to your heart, and you say it should be near and dear to everybody's heart. It so really should, because we learned everything we know about growing things in America from the American Indians. And uh, a lot of the fruits and vegetables and everything, they taught us how to plant, remember corn and the pilgrims? Mm -hmm. And that's what kept the colony from starving to death that one winter. And this is sort of that time of year when we start planting a lot of the things that we think about. Mm -hmm, that's very true. And uh, I brought a book. This is a first edition book. And it's the art of American cooking, American Indian cooking. Uh -huh. And it has history in here as well as some recipes and where things came from. And it's really interesting to research that because uh, the things that are in the tribe where you lived are the things you learned to eat. And so the Northwest Indians had lots of seafood and those kind of things, uh -huh. apples and things. Okay. And the people uh, down in the South like the Seminole Indians, they grew vegetables and fruits and all these kind of things. And uh, in Arizona, they grew vegetables 100 years before we ever set foot on America. Is that just amazing? It is quite spectacular to think about and to take us back that far. Mm -hmm. And I know you've done a lot of research in this area and I you have. were gonna show us some of the things, first of all, starting with this particular one. Yes, now that's not related to the Indians, however, but this is a curly willow. And uh, I went out this morning and hacked it off my tree and it hangs down like <laughs> this and uh, it gets thick branches on it, uh, loses its leaves in the winter time and the thick branches turn a prettiest brown and they're all curly like you put them up in curlers last night. Uh -huh. And they're gorgeous in a flower arrangement. How nice. And a lot of florists use it, but it's a tree that grows about maybe 50, 60 feet high, likes moist roots, and uh, there's a lot of derogatory information about it on the internet. So but don't I, believe everything you read? No, my tree grows <laughs> beautifully and it hangs over my neighbor's yard and they have their chairs under it and it's wonderful. Okay, and then you brought some of, then these are the things that we're starting to see as we change seasons coming yes. into the fall. And these are things that the Indians taught us to grow. Mm -hmm. Corn. Remember the pilgrims and corn and uh, the butternut squash? The acorn squash, which usually I find green acorn squash, why it's yellow now, I uh -huh. don't know, I have no idea, I just we bought it last night. We don't know what exactly happened. And you were telling me a really neat tradition, and I want to get to this before we run out of time. Yes, and I, here's the jar. Okay, so tell me about this particular one. All right, you just go out in your garden one morning when everything's fresh, pick four or five little blooms that you've got, uh -huh. and snip them off short to fit the jar that you've got, a jar or bottle, uh -huh. and uh, tie a piece of raffia around it, make a bow, and then trim it to fit where it doesn't trail about sure. a mile away. And uh, walk down the street one day and uh, just say, how would you like to have some flowers today? And give them to a total stranger. And they have the most startled look on their face or you could take it to a nursing home and give it to someone that doesn't have any visitors. And just watch as it brings a smile to their Absolutely. face. Absolutely. Just like Miss mm -hmm. Jean does every week when she comes oh, on the show. Oh, and you do to me too. Great to have you. For more yeah. information, you can check out her website. It is right there. Always fun to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you.